remains discovered in a Lincoln Park lagoon over the weekend be connected to a missing persons case in Elgin? That's the question police are trying to answer. CBS 2's My Martinez live in Elgin to try to answer some of those questions tonight. My. Well, Rob, the investigation here centers around the house you see behind me. That is where a 76 year old woman was living before she was reported missing Friday. Where is Gail Peck? That's what police in Elgin are trying to figure out. Friday, they shared this post on Facebook asking for the public's help locating Peck after her son said she took her dog for a walk but never returned. Neighbors say the investigation quickly turned to Peck's home Friday night. Two dozen cop cars around and the blue tent set up. They were here Saturday morning um, and then Sunday it was pretty quiet. Um, and then last night we noticed that there were cop cars in the driveway and they've been there all night. Are police telling you anything about what's going on? Uh, the only thing I know is from the Elgin Facebook page. A break in the case may have come Saturday when a fisherman in Chicago discovered a duffel bag with human remains in it in the Lincoln Park Lagoon. Police divers later found a second duffel bag containing more remains. We can confirm that it is an adult, uh, but the medical examiner is leading that investigation in terms of any other details with that. According to the medical examiner's office, the remains include a torso and parts of two legs and all appear to be from a white woman who had a scar on her back from surgery. Elgin police confirmed they're working with Chicago police to determine if the remains are pecs. If somebody killed her, why would they dismantle her or whatever and take her body all the way to Lincoln Park? It's very sad. I grieve for her family and for everyone else. DNA testing is being used to positively identify the remains. Meantime, Elgin police continue to question a person of interest who is a family member, but at this time, no charges have been filed. Reporting live in Elgin, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News. Rob? Mai, when will the DNA testing be complete, did they say? It is possible those results could come back as early as this week, but of course it could also take longer. We know that we've had backups before with DNA testing. Okay, my Martinez live in Elgin Force. Thank you.